Well, driving around Cleveland, you are certain to see some potholes. Mm -hmm. But what are the worst areas and is anything being done? Well, this morning, News 5's Elizabeth Van Beatry is digging into the most complained about roads in the city of Cleveland over the last five years. And Elizabeth, you're live at some of what some are calling actually the worst road in Cleveland. Yeah, that's 117th and Lorraine. It is considered the worst. It's had over 37 complaints since 2017. Now I want to show you kind of the conditions of roads that we're really looking at here. Take a peek here, kind of see all the potholes that we're going through. We did get caught at a red light this morning. I was able to obtain 1800 roads in Cleveland with the most complaints in the top 20 intersections on 117th made that list four times. This is my baby. She's a work in progress. John Pappas loves his car. 77 LTD. Um, I put all new carpet in here. All new like carpet because his coffee before. spilled over the seats while driving to work on 117th Street. That's also why he's had to replace his shocks twice. And I, I drive all over Cleveland and I've noticed that this is probably about the worst. Where he works is close to four areas, all with the most complaints for potholes. 117th Street and Lorraine, Madison, Carbon, and Bria. So there's a lot of potholes, and unfortunately, like I said, there's you know, cracks, there's crevices, there's, there's all sorts of little dips and dives. Just to give you a little bit of perspective of where 117th Street is, I'm standing on 117th right now. That's Cleveland right there, and right here is Lakewood. Driving this road could mean paying a price. This is one of the worst roads in Cleveland. I think I've had to have uh, my tires uh, replaced and my brakes have gone bad. The holes are really deep. They're not small little potholes. Steven Scourry with Tire Choice located on 117th right off the 90 bridge says this road keeps them busy with customers in need of a tire repair. Every day, at least three to ten times a day. Sometimes it's a rim, not just the tire anymore. So we reached out to the city to see if any current work is being done on 117th or plans for the near future. In a written statement to News 5, the city of Cleveland says there are 84 requests for servicing potholes in those specific areas during that time frame, all of which were completed and closed. Thus, it is clear that the work always gets completed. They go on to say the majority of pothole repairs are completed within two weeks, many of which are completed in less than a week. You can see here that they've tried to patch the areas of the road, but those who live around here say that it's not enough. They'd like a more permanent fix. Is patching it enough? No, they need to re redo the whole thing. They're filling them in, but not quick enough. So for now, John will look for detours or keep a lid on his coffee. And a good car is like a good woman. You take care of her, she'll be there when you need her. <laughs> Now we're certainly going to follow through with this city on what's being done because so many of you are still having issues with this road. Now, if you have a road that you'd like me to take a look at, a traffic concern, anything like that, please send me an email, elizabeth.vanmitri at wews.com. For News 5, I'm Elizabeth Van Mitri. All right, we know you'll get those answers. Thank you, Elizabeth. Well, here's a deeper dive into the Cleveland streets with the most requests for pothole repairs over the last seven years. You can see West 117th and Lorraine is at the top of the list by wide margin. West 11th Street and Spring Road in Cleveland comes in at number two with 20 requests for pothole repairs. Brook Park Road and State Road comes in at third with 19. West 3rd Street and Quigley Road comes in at number four. And Mohican Avenue rounds out the top five with 16 requests for repairs. We have posted the entire top 10 list of streets under the story on our website, news5cleveland.com.